In an effort to become Paintball's biggest brand, HK Army have been releasing a lot of new products over the last few years. Very recently, they came out with their new low top digger cleats, lots of tank options, a new cool magnetic magtech harness, and then a few new barrel options. They have the new XV one piece barrel and then now you know, this laser barrel kit. HK Army really don't have a history though of making barrels. I mean, really the most recent barrel they had was the XV barrel kit. It didn't really take off though. It wasn't too popular. It was a two piece barrel, came in 15 inches, had nine inch control bore backs, three different barrel sizes, the 689, 685, and the 681. Before we get into this, I want to thank bfpgear.com for sponsoring this video. So if you're looking to pick up one of these new laser barrel kits, maybe you're looking for that XV one piece barrel from HK Army, do definitely check out bfpgear.com. It's buying stuff from them helps support this channel as they've been kind of a long term supporter of this whole thing. So this new laser kit from HK is the same length as that original VX kit. 15 inches, but instead of two pieces, the laser is actually a three piece barrel kit. So you're gonna get that main insert, the barrel back and that barrel tip, and then screwed together, they come out to be that 15 inches. And if you're unfamiliar with kind of why you want all these barrel pieces, it's because to get optimal accuracy, air efficiency, breaking less paint, and just making the gun shoot the best it can, you want those paint balls to fit very well inside the barrel. So they're having different or manufacturing different insert sizes to make that paintball fit that barrel perfectly. You kind of just want a light snug fit. You don't want the barrel to be too large and that paintball not fit well in the barrel. You don't want the barrel to be too small and have to have that paintball squeeze down the barrel. You want just a very light fit. Hence why all these different sizes. And those inserts are only eight inches long because you really don't need them to be much longer. So to get optimal performance, or I should say optimal velocity from a paintball gun, you really only need the back part of the barrel, that part that seals on the paintball to be eight inches long. Anything longer than that really doesn't help contribute to velocity increase at all. So having that extra length on the front of the barrel, making the thing 15 inches long, kind of just helps a little bit with accuracy and definitely makes the gun quieter. If you had a really short, like eight inch barrel on there, it wouldn't shoot very straight. It would be very loud, but it'd probably be about the same velocity. And the laser comes with eight sizes in total. It's gonna come with a 0 .678, 680, 682, 684, 686, 688, 690, and 692. So the 688 is gonna be like that standard normal size. And I kind of like how there's more smaller bore sizes. You know, it's got the smaller sizes. It's not coming with like some huge 694 or 696 barrel because paintballs are just starting to typically run a little bit smaller. So I like how the kit skews to the smaller side. The kit comes in two different barrel threads. You're gonna get auto cocker thread that actually comes in eight different colors. You can get the Lux thread, but that only comes in black. And to get the best accuracy from any paintballs, like I was saying earlier, you really need them to fit well in the barrel. And HK Army have included a ball sizer just so you can quickly like check the size of individual paintballs or like a handful of paintballs. That's what I would do. You really don't want to check one paintball because if you check one paintball and you got a bag of 2000, maybe you just got a really small one or big one. So I definitely at least, you know, check a handful, you know, check 10, something like that. And I also think it's a good idea to kind of put ball in and then check it at like multiple angles and stuff like that. Cause maybe you just got a big fat side or something like that. So check it multiple angles and check multiple balls to kind of like figure out best barrel to use. And to make the barrels kind of match different guns a little bit better, HK have added the little rubber sleeves to the back of these. And they're coming in four colors when you buy the barrel, you're getting a black one, gray, blue, and red. They just peel off, you can just put them on. Uh, they're just kind of neat. It's also coming with these cool cases. Uh, the case is really nice. Uh, a lot of paintball companies for a very long time, uh, all of them really, have been making only carbon fiber looking stuff. So I just really like how this is not carbon fiber and it's just a different material. Uh, it's made well, you know, you got a zipper and a handle and stuff like that. You can open that up and, hope I just closed it. I guess we should open it. And you got barrels. So it's just a good case. Uh, it's made very well, zipper closure, you know, everything's got individual spots so you don't like lose stuff. You can make sure everything's in there just by taking a quick glance. So shooting the laser, I think that accuracy wise, 
that's just as good as anything, right? I mean, it's a high-end, well-made, good barrel. So it's, I think, gonna shoot just as straight as any other good high-end barrel, right? It doesn't matter if it's like a Die Ultralight, you got a Die Boomstick, you got a Freak, you got a Freak XL, you got the Field One Aculock barrel, you got, you know, a Die F or a Eclipse FL barrel. All those barrels are very good, and I think really kind of shoot just as accurately as this laser barrel. But sound-wise, I did notice a difference, right? So I had a couple barrels out of the paintball field. I took a Die Ultralight, I had this laser barrel, I took the Planet Eclipse FL barrel with an aluminum tip and a carbon fiber tip. And I definitely noticed that I think the Planet Eclipse FL carbon fiber barrel was the quietest, then followed by the aluminum tipped Planet Eclipse FL barrel, then the laser barrel, then the Die Ultralight. So I think the Ultralight out of all of those barrels I shot was the loudest. All of the other ones though, the Die Ultralight's a 14 inch, the laser and the Planet Eclipse barrels are all a 15 inch though, or 14 and a half. So I think maybe adding that little extra length helps make them a little bit quieter. It's definitely a little heavy though. So when we compare it to like that carbon fiber F barrel barrel, or even like the Field One AccuLock barrel, it leans on the heavy side. I for one don't care though. So like most of these guns are so lightweight that if you put a heavy barrel on the front of it, you can't really tell. I mean, the thing's still gonna be lightweight. And then adding a little bit more weight to the front of the gun actually makes it a little more, more difficult to kick. So if you wanna reduce kick maybe a little bit more, having a heavier barrel like the laser uh, could actually be good. So overall, the laser is a very good barrel. I mean, I've always been hesitant of saying that any of the HK Army like hard products, whether it's barrels or hoppers or masks are good, just because they haven't been the greatest. But certainly over the past few years, they've increased the quality quite a bit. And I'd say that the laser barrel is just as good as any higher end barrel out there. I mean, it's just as good as a Freak XL. It's just as good as the Field One AccuLock. It's a very good barrel. But I feel like in this video, it's kind of difficult for me to say like, the thing shoots well with kind of not bringing up all the like little tidbits that I feel like HK Army kind of copied, right? So the inserts are not a new thing for sure. I mean, we've seen them for two, three decades, something like that from GOG. And then the little rubber things on the back of the barrel are certainly reminiscent of the Planet Eclipse FL barrel. And then even the barrel tip being longer is reminiscent of that FL barrel. And then the barrel tip porting just makes me think of the Silencio barrel from Infamous. So while like it's a very good barrel, it works really well. It's just kind of lame. I feel like they kind of like cobbled a bunch of other designs together to make their own product. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. I think that we kind of see that in the evolution of products, but they're getting a lot of hate for it online and it's kind of like impossible not to bring it up, but it's a very good barrel. Uh, so if you want one, just go buy one.